old fleet again. We've got a fleet that is going to be vulnerable to modern cruise missile attack. I mean, you know, World War II certainly saw the rise of the carrier replacing the battleship. Well, now you've got a whole new Navy configuration given technology, and we have not developed a Navy that's really in the missile technological era. Uh, where even Iran can sail two Navy ships to our coast to unblocked, unstopped, unhindered. And, and those ships could be having a, a preparation for a EMP, an electro, you know, electrical pulse uh, uh, EMP attack on the United States, which could put out all you know, nuclear blasts, explode in the high atmosphere, electromagnetic pulse attack that could destroy all radio, television, internet, communications, radio communications in the United States. And we're just totally vulnerable to these things. And Russia and China are ramping up at the same time. I want to shift gears. What do you make of the whole Ukraine situation? Uh, the Ukraine, and also I want to comment on the uh, attempt of the Federal Communications Commission to essentially- That's where I was going next. In fact, let's talk about that. Judge Napolitano on Fox and Friends yes. called it radical new era of tyranny. Our article's up on Infowars.com showing that video by Paul Watson. I, I, we reported on this last year. People didn't believe us. I know World Net Daily did. We reported on it again last week. It wasn't until Drudge picked up our article or, and they picked up other articles. They finally had covered it this week. Obama is doing stuff so over the top, people can't even believe it. Well, and also behind a lot of this is this uh, Podesta and his, you know, center, the progressive center that Podesta has in Washington, D.C. This new firm that has been hired by the FCC to go in and conduct supposedly this, this study. And this is not an academic study. This is just a way of pressuring. It's a way to snoop and then create a new fake report to bring in the Fairness Doctrine. Precise or to circumvent the Fairness Doctrine with an even more uh, oppressive anti-First Amendment document. Uh, and the FCC is ready to write those rules. This group is called Solution, Social Solutions International. It's a uh, firm headed by, you know, it touts being Hispanic, woman-owned. But the firm has, again, strong ties to Podesta. And his uh, center, his progressive center in Washington, D.C. Of course it does. And these are, you know, again, this is not a unbiased academic study. And this by the way, I'm glad you corrected me. It's much worse than Fairness Doctrine just over broadcast radio TV. They're, they're, they're saying this is going to be print media. All media. This is, this is an attempt to have a new form of doctrine come in, which is local standards. In other words, if you're not fair to what fair, fair means to, you know. The if you don't want to teach five-year-old boys how to wear dresses, you're not fair. Uh, look at what happened with Feinstein last year. She said the feds want a law where they decide if you're a journalist or not and get protections. I mean, this is a war, and they've said they want it. Do you expect them to actually get away with it? Well, they're going to try. I mean, this is the center is, again, you've got to go back to the Center for American Progress, which is Podesta's main platform. That platform is pushing a lot of this agenda. Podesta is now a White House counselor. Obama's proceeding by administrative order and bureaucratic rule to impose anti-First Amendment, anti-Second Amendment, anti-Fourth Amendment. Uh, regulations upon the United States that do away with fundamental constitutional values. You guys are right there in Virginia by D.C. I mean, right. uh, can you imagine them sending in an Obama Democrat Party Media Matters operative who've already said they want to, quote, infiltrate and sabotage patriot media? And I mean, you cannot let these people in the building. Well, the same with InfoWars. I mean, they're, they're, InfoWars and WND are both on the list to come in and say that we're not doing enough stories that are fair to, in other words, you know, in agreement with the uh, anti-First Amendment agenda of the LGBT community. Oh, yeah. We are listed, for those that don't know, by the White House run Media Matters. I mean, they talk about us every day. And, I mean, and, and, and they... The, Remember that memo two years ago that leaked that they want to, quote, infiltrate our groups? And, and quote, it's same with WND. We're both on a target list of this. And, you know, when they talk about 
you know, the structural imbalance of radio or, or of TV or print broadcasting, what they're saying, or the internet, what they're saying is, you know, we don't run enough stories that are like an Ed Schultz radio show that are waving the flag for the Obama administration, the LGBT agenda, all the, you know, and the left is the uh, intolerant. The le- you know, I think I keep going back to Jonah Goldberg's book on leftist fascism, and people forget the Nazis were leftists, national socialists. You know, you have the same kind of an idea for a corporate, bureaucratic, government, multinational, corporate world that Obama is trying to create in which there is no First Amendment, there is no Second Amendment or Fourth Amendment, no right to avoid unreasonable searches and seizures, no right to bear arms, no right to express an opinion which is contrary to the, the leftist socialist view of how things ought to be done. Otherwise, you're hate speech or you know, you're, you're defined as committing a crime for what you believe, what you sure. say, and what you write. I just skipped this network break because this is so important. Dr. Corsi, let me ask you this question. Obamacare comes in. It's designed to totally bankrupt the country. Uh, Ezekiel Emanuel goes on Fox and admits that, v- validates everything we've said. Death panels, doubling, tripling cost, written by ins- Insider crony capitalists that are anti-free market to shut down their competition. The perfect storm of corporate and socialist corruption coming together in a fascist model. And instead, no talk of repealing it. Boehner's up there. The Republican leadership's going along. This really shows if we can't repeal this, Katie bar the door. This is the green light. Why not start shutting down the alternative media? Why not set up checkpoints on highways? Why not have the NSA spy on everybody? I mean, haven't we reached the point that we either start impeaching or we start reversing or the precedent set to go over the edge? Well, I I know that the the Tea Party increasingly across the country, and by the way, the Tea Party is always branded as the, this is the right-wing extremism, as if these people were, you know, the Tea Party were out, you know, bomb throwing anarchists, which is, you know, compl- these are people who care about the Constitution, largely, you know, older, concerned about their retirement, concerned about the future of America, where our children and grandchildren are left with all this debt. Uh, the Tea Party, I think, is beginning to part ways totally, and almost going to outright warfare against the Republican Party leadership. Uh, the Tea Party is not Republican, it's fundamentally a constitutionalist movement. And it will only agree with the GOP to the extent the GOP supports smaller government, supports reduced taxes. And that's why we've got the Republican leadership with Obama and the big trade federations pooling money to destroy the Tea Party because the Tea Party is the only Americana resistance left. And if the people figure that out, it should be the new populist party, take over the Republican Party, and it's game over for these criminals. I mean, if the Republicans would use the cannon fodder they've got of how bad Obamacare is, we could destroy these socialist scum. But they won't do it, Dr. Corsi, and it's so frustrating. Well, largely, they're in agreement. See, this is the problem. The book I wrote that got very little read because it was a, it was a, you know, I'm a political scientist. I did an analysis of, I spent three weeks traveling with the Romney campaign as press, traveling press, and I wrote what went wrong, you know, which was an analysis of the 2012 presidential election. The problem is when the Republicans put forward these establishment me too Democrat candidates like Romney or McCain, or you know now they're supporting you know the governor here in New Jersey. I mean these are the whole ideas of these establishment Republicans, which are basically big business, spend money, internationalist, free trade, destroy the dollar, destroy U.S. sovereignty. I mean John Boehner uh, would go for a amnesty new uh, immigration bill in a heartbeat. And Mitch McConnell will be right there behind him. That's the problem. The GOP leadership is becoming a branch of the Democratic Party and it's moving to the left and rapidly doing so. It is, a- it is, it is simply mind-boggling and mind-blowing. Well, as a top political scientist who I know has advised Fortune 20 companies, I'm not tooting your horn, people seem to know you know what you're talking about, Obviously, they're running around very scared of the Tea Party every time we get a leaked Democrat 
party, you know, billionaire meeting, they're worried about it. I have Bilderberg connections. They've been scared of it for six, seven years. That comes up at the highest global councils. They're scared of the internet. They're scared of, quote, highly motivated individuals, passionate people that are into human empowerment. I mean, these are quotes put out by the Pentagon and, and, and groups uh, you know, run by the globalists of who they're scared of. They're scared of free, independent renaissance, 1776, or uh, Thomas Jefferson, true liberals like you and myself. I mean, these terms mean nothing now, but we would be called liberals 235 years ago. More guns, more private property, more family, uh, lower taxes, more for us, more freedom, more personal decisions. We're now being labeled the terrorist. We're now being labeled the enemy because we're not just dumb, moron, uh, collectivist. Where does this battle go then? Uh, because uh, it, it's just, it's so incredible. What does your gut tell you, Dr. Corsi? Where's this going? Well, the, the next thing I think is happening is coming down the pike fairly quickly is the uh, complete destruction of the dollar. I mean, the inability to control our debt limit, the fact that we're going to hit $20 billion, $20 trillion with a T in national debt. Uh, the debt service on that is going to be enormous. And I continue to warn that the moment we quit buying our own debt through this QE policy, the quantitative easing, where the Federal Reserve, the central bankers, are buying our own debt. We're just printing money, you know, money that is owned by the Federal Reserve, not by the Treasury. We don't own our own money. We're paying interest on this debt that we're creating. And China is starting to move away from the dollar very quickly. It's going to collapse as soon as the, you know, as soon as the new Janet Yellen, head of the F, uh, of the Fed, says that it sounds like she's backing off of printing money. At that moment, the stock market collapses. It started to when she took over, but immediately they propped up Janet Yellen, sent her out, made her say, "Oh no, no, we're going to keep printing money. We'll keep printing money and buying debt." As soon as that, this is the biggest bubble, I think, ever. In and there's no doubt about it. So how does it go down? What are the different scenarios? And, the, and, and what happens when it goes down? When it goes down, the push is going to be to move to another global regional currency. The whole idea is to say, I mean, and look, just this past week, you know, President Obama very quietly goes down to Mexico and holds the North American Summit Leaders meeting, which used to be Security and Prosperity Partnership. They're still pushing for free trade. They're still pushing for North American Union. They just, because we got onto it, we criticized it. WND criticized it. InfoWars was on it. We were there reporting. Uh, the agenda was backed off publicly, but it never for a second slowed down. The urge to create a comparable to the EU, North American Union, to merge it all together in a transatlantic and trans-Pacific partnership, which again is slowed down because we you know, have pointed out that the destructiveness to U.S. jobs, the loss of sovereignty, and you know, finally, uh, some of the union groups are actually opposing these international trade groups. They're finally waking up. But the point is, once the currency collapses, and there's no way we're ever, the United States is ever going to pay back this $20 trillion debt. And all Obama can do is continue to generate you know, more debt, more big government, more control over people's lives, more people dependent on government spending, and eventually the whole thing collapses. But if it, when the majority of the population is dependent on government checks, then the collapse will be so frightening that the population will want to keep it going, even if that means going into a global governance that supersedes U.S. national sovereignty. Exactly. They'll say we have the new SDR, $100 yes. trillion in new taxes, as uh, Davos called for. And they'll say the new system will save you. You'll still have your dollar. It'll still just be denominated stamps. digitally into this. You'll have your Obama phone. You'll still have your food stamps. You'll still have your Social Security. Nothing's going to change. It's just you're going to be paid in a new form of currency, and the dollar is going to be retired. And don't listen to these uh, Tea Party people. In fact, oh, they just bombed something today. We're going to have to start arresting them. And they'll stage false flags and then blame us. And then by the time the majority of the population continues to be dummied down, where the things being taught in the public schools today are an LGBT agenda, an attitude, a feeling, there's no fundamental 
math, reading, skills going on today. In the yeah, regardless, let's just say you love it. Gay, gay, gay. How are we going to run a country when the TV, everything, the Olympics is nothing but gay, 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 gay? I mean, what does the world think of us? That's like all we do. I, I want to come back briefly with you because I know you've got to go for about five minutes. Sure. And uh, talk.